Yo, what's cracking, dudes? It's Namei. Um, today I got a new tutorial for you guys. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests on this tutorial. Um, I used it in my friend's recent episodes, and people people have been wondering what this effect is and how it's to be done. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, and before I get into this, um, I'd like to thank my friend Showbrian for helping me with the logo for my first tut. You know, just a little thing I'd like to do for my friends when they help me out. But anyways, go check him out. His link is going to be in the description. And, um, alright, without further ado, let's just get started. So, I'm going to open up my After Effects here. And, um, I already got my, uh, you know, gun reloaded and twixered right where I want it to be. And note that this is where the effect is going to take place, right on the twixer. So, when it's twixtered, you know, the that whole background is going to be blurred out, except for the gun in his hand, you know, it's kind of going to be like a blur and sharpen effect. So, if you guys don't know what track mats are, and don't know what they're used for, well, I'm going to explain them to you in this tutorial. So, basically, um, I'm going to show you how to do this, and yeah, so let's get into this. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is make a new solid. It can be black, whatever, no big deal. Turn it off for a sec, and I'm gonna remain it, rename it Matt. I'm gonna want to pl place this over the clip, and yep. So now you're gonna want to find where you uh, twixter your clip, and for me it's right over here. I think it's actually right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my mat. I'm gonna get my pen tool out, my pen tool, zoom in. And I'm gonna start masking his hand and hit and the gun. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna do that and make sure you don't mask out the call sign because we wanna see like who who he is and who he's getting the kill cam on, you know, just just for professional purposes and just to make that look more cleaner and you know more uh, good. <laughs> um but yeah, I'm just probably gonna fast forward this part for you guys because masking takes a while. So yep. Yeah. Okay guys, so I've masked out the gun and now it's time to add an adjustment layer. Wait, actually, no. Before we add an adjustment layer, guys, we gotta go back to our mat and notice when, since we wanna make it look like the gun is actually being sharpened and the background's being blurred out, we gotta make sure the mask flows with the twixter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click M on the mask, that brings out our mask and our mask path, and we're gonna set a keyframe. So click the little stopwatch. And what we're gonna do now is we are gonna drag our little time bar thing see the twigs there and see how the mask gets out of position well we're gonna have to fix that so we're gonna just click the mask drag it drag it over we can you know we can stretch it out you know just so it fits just so you know it uh, just the mask so the mask just stays with the gun and keep in mind that when you're doing this you will, might have to like adjust a few little keyframes like here and there so like see here it's not like work mess like it's not you know working out for you gotta just pull these keyframes in and remember guys when you're doing your own, when you're doing this in your own edit remember that it's your own edit and you're gonna have to spend time on the masking you know like I just made a pretty crappy mask right here but yeah so I'm just gonna make this about two seconds and I'm just gonna go one more second at seven seconds click on the mask adjust it make it bigger make it wider all right, the mask is looking great. Actually, you know what? See, that's why you gotta fix it. Cause now the call sign is getting screwed up. All right, there. So now, if we wash this over, the mask is gonna be with the gun, like that. All right. Now, since we've done this, we can move on to our next step. Now we're gonna go and add a new adjustment layer. We're going to rename this adjustment layer Lens Blur. And you probably already know what this adjustment layer is for. You drag it under your mat. Search up Lens Blur. <laughs> oh, shit, my bad. Lens Blur. Alright. Drag that on to Lens Blur. I can't spell. But, you know, you see how it makes the whole clip blurry, including the gun? Well, that's exactly why we have the mat. 
Now we're going to go to track mat right here. We're going to go to our lens blur. Click, click none. And we're going to click alpha invert mat. What the alpha invert mat does is whatever is on the other side of the um, of the mask that we just made is going to be blurred out. So now you can see that everything behind the mask is blurred out and our gun is you know stays the same. So it looks like it's sharpened. This effect looks so clean guys. It looks so dope. I can't even tell you. I just love using this effect and I can't get enough of it. But remember you're going to have to spend your time on it. Alright. So now that we're done this we can move on to our next step and our next step is keyframing the blur to come in whenever we when we want it so right as the twixter starts or actually we set our when, right when we set our first keyframe for our twixter what we're going to do is we're going to click the iris for the radius on the lens blur bring it all the way down to zero and then we're going to zoom in right here we go to our first keyframe from where our mass path starts then we're going to bring this back up to 15 or 20 or whatever blur size you prefer and since my computer guys does while I'm recording this I can't click F9 to easy ease these keyframes so I'm just gonna have to right click keyframe assistant easy ease yeah one more thing about me guys every time I'm editing I don't care what keyframe it is I will always like easy easy ease them it doesn't matter what it is I will always easy ease them even if it has no effect uh okay so now we got this and our blur just fades right in like that so yeah, so that's basically it guys. That's a tutorial. Um I'm just gonna turn the color correction on for you guys. Just to see how it looks. And trust me guys, that looks dope. That looks dope as fuck. Alright. Um so guys, uh that's basically it. I'm probably gonna render it out and you guys will see how this looks at the end of the video. Alright guys, thanks and have a great day. Take it easy.